Hi, welcome back to 15 Minute Chef. Welcome to an episode of how to cook gumbo in a crock pot um, with Brantley John, my sous chef today, helping me out. So today's Saturday morning. We have a lot going on this morning. So throughout the day, what I'll do is I'll put some gumbo on the crock pot and when we get home from running around all over town, we'll have a nice, delicious gumbo. So what we use is a gumbo base by Louisiana. It's very, very good. Um, it's super easy to use. I just put everything in my crock pot. Let me get my second camera started so you guys can see what's going into it. Okay, looks like that's going. So now you can kind of see what's going into it. So the first thing I do, I don't put any oil or anything. The first thing you need to put on the bottom is what is this? Sausage! Yes. You cut some little pieces. Cut them into little pieces? You cut that. Oh yeah, I know. We're going to throw that in there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so tell them Brantley we're going to cut it into pieces. And then put it in there and then... Right, so then as it cooks, it's going to cook the pork first. And you know why we want to cook the pork first? Because it has the delicious fat that we need to go into the gumbo. So we want to put that at the bottom. The next thing we're going to put is, what is this? Tell them what this is. Celery and garlic. And onion. Onion. And bell pepper. And both. And we're going to put two thirds of a cup in there. I don't put too much because you know, your brother doesn't like too much green stuff. What is this? Tell them what that is. Parsley. There we go. Put a little parsley in there. And onion. We're going to put some more onion in. Just because we think onion tastes good. Stop. We're going to throw that in there. Throw that in there. We're going to break it up. Alright. What's this stuff? Do you know what that is? A little helper? I give you a smell it. Ugh. That's garlic. We definitely need some of that in there. Put about a half a teaspoon in there. Yeah. You gonna um, throw that in there? If you have garlic and gumbo and you make a vampire eat it, ugh. There it is. Don't think it's there you go. So what do you think one of the biggest, most important ingredients is in the gumbo, Bradley? The main gumbo. Yeah, you gotta put the, the chicken in. Chicken. Yep. That's so, you, we got a big frozen chunk of chicken. You have to put chicken in there. But slide in there. But but if you don't want chicken, you have to have. It. No, what's a what's a different type of gumbo you can have? Regular gumbo. Yeah, you can have seafood gumbo. What seafood? So gumbo? I'm gonna dump the uh, packet. A lot of times I'll mix it up in a bowl and then pour it on top. You can do it, however. I'm going to be home throughout the day, so I'll be mixing it up. So we're going to add the whole packet in there, and then it calls for two quarts of water. Yes. Now let me explain about the water. If you like a thicker gumbo, don't put two quarts. Put less. Only put, you know, three, maybe a two and a half. Mm -hmm. We like ours kind of like a soup. So... Why do you have to put water? Because it needs water to cook. Why does it need water to cook? So it tastes delicious. Why That's what the directions call for. Why does it taste delicious? It does taste delicious. We're going to ask you later how it tastes. So as you can see, I'm just kind of pouring the water all the way around. Getting it going. My crock pot's nice and full. It's ready to go. I will put this on for about two and a half hours. And then I'm gonna come back, stir it up. I might even taste it to see if it needs some seasoning, but I won't add my seasoning until last. And be very careful because the base mix I just used already has like a lot of salt, so we don't want it to be too salty. So there you go. That's 15 Minute Chef with Amelia and Brantley John. <laughs> And we'll see y'all back in a little bit to show y'all the finished product. Bye, guys.
Welcome back to 15 Minute Chef. And as you can see, our gumbo is looking perfect. Came out nice and rich. Looks good. And it's ready to be served. And of course, we have some nice potato salad to serve with it. You guys enjoy and have a great weekend.